As COVID-19 continues to take a worrisome turn, it's being felt very acutely in our state's correctional facilities, where tonight we've learned another inmate has died from coronavirus-related complications. Right now, this is the latest data from the state from earlier this afternoon. Of the more than 27,000 inmates who've been tested, 213 have tested positive, along with 96 staffers. Nine inmates have died, and so has one staff member. Tonight, Local 5's Eva Anderson speaks with a mother in Dubuque who's afraid that her son could be next. Danny McTaggart has served most of his 10 year prison sentence for robbery at age 19. His mother said he was struggling with an addiction. Now, six years later, she's more concerned than ever that his life is at risk as deaths from COVID-19 in Iowa prisons continue to climb. My son became uh, incarcerated at 19. So he's been gone for six years. Six years with her youngest no longer by her side. Sue McTaggart says this year has been the hardest, knowing COVID-19 outbreaks could put her son's life at risk. She can hear the fear in his voice in their phone calls. He has sounded definitely more vulnerable, more frightened. Frightened for safety as people in prisons began to die. Sue's family sought a commutation of her son's 10 year sentence to no success. Now, as the virus spreads outside and inside prison walls, Sue says Danny feels powerless and so does she. Uh, he's had several stories about correctional officers not wearing their PPE, wearing it around their neck instead of over their face, um, going from an infected unit to his unit, which was not infected and wearing the same PPE. And when he tells those stories, it begins to feel that it's inevitable that he'll become infected. Sunday, the ninth Iowan serving a sentence died from COVID-19. A prison worker also died last week. Amid growing concerns Monday, AFSCME Union held a press conference with Iowa political leaders calling on the state to fund more PPE for correctional facilities and to provide more oversight and routine testing. We have to get COVID-19 under control inside our correctional facilities. You do need to serve your time, but you don't need to be subjected to catching a virus that's going to kill you. Each day that Sue waits without her son, she's hoping others can have a heart for situations like hers, even if they don't know it firsthand. That over 90% of people who are incarcerated are going to be released and be your neighbors. That's why we should care about how they're treated. In Des Moines, Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. We reached out to the Iowa Department of Corrections last Thursday with a series of questions regarding the outbreaks. Uh, today they told us that they will get back to us sometime tomorrow.